Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, we'll be showing you Tinder dating app, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss. So let's first start with how to use Tinder. So how do we start using Tinder here? So first thing we need to do here is we first have to install the mobile application stuff. So typically you could go ahead and install it via Google Play Store here. Just search for Tinder and install it. Now in this case, once you've sold it, you could, go, you could go ahead and click on open here to see the Tinder page here. Now, if you want to start using it, we first have to log in or create our account. Now, in this case, if you have already existing Google account, Facebook account, or if you want to log in using your phone number, you could go ahead and do that. But in this case, I'm going to use my Google account here. Let's go ahead and choose log in with Google here. Choose our, e our Google account here, and it should actually log us in. Now in this case, it's going to ask us to enter our phone number. So it's going to ask us to enter our phone number. Go ahead and enter that and just hit on continue. And from here, it should redirect you to another page. Now in this case, it's going to ask you to verify if you're human. Now just click on the verify option here and choose the appropriate image that is actually correct for the verification process. So in this case, there's going to be a, a few verifications here. They might ask you a few things. Also, some reminders. So make sure when you actually upload an image here in Tinder, make sure that it's an actual image of yourself. Because sometimes if you don't, like for example, if you got a, use an image that is from a stock uh, so websites or images that is not yours, sometimes it's going to actually remove that image. And sometimes... Uh, um, Tinder here would actually block your account. So it's better that you be honest on this one. Use your photos, make sure the information you add here are correct. And in this case, it's going to ask you, so are you from around here? So in this case, if you want to allow location here, you could go ahead and click on allow. So uh, if you want to know more how they actually track your location, just click on how is my lo uh, location used. But for now, I'm going to click on allow here and allow only while using the app. Now, using the uh, uh, location services here makes it a lot easier for you to uh, basically start using, uh, make sure that you have appropriate matches to your account. So in this case, what we need to do first, uh, if, it's, if you have a fairly new account, most of the time they would actually ask you to fill out some necessary details for yourself, for example, your name or any other details about yourself. So currently this is my profile here. So I, I actually added my name here as well as my age. Uh, age. If you want to change your images here, typically in your profile, you have the uh, pencil icon at the top right. So if you click on it, you should be able to change your images, upload your images here, as well as the photo options here. Like for example, smart photos, the about me section. So it's actually really important to include some information about yourself, make it a lot more interesting. Like for example, if you have any hobbies, like if you're dancing, singing or if you're into theater you can go ahead and mention that here as well now we also have the prompts here so a quick about me section so in this case you could go ahead and add a prompt here so for example my weird but true story here you could go ahead and just sell a short story about that specific topic there as well as uh, other information here so we have interests relationship goals as well as the pronouns height and languages that you know again i would suggest you to be uh, be honest as much as you can here uh like for example for relationship goals here make sure that this is actually correct because uh, a lot of people here are actually looking for companionship so like for example if you're looking for a long-term partner long-term partner uh, term open to short short-term fun uh, new friends still forgetting out and short term or open to long now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and fill out all their side details here. Again, I would suggest you to fill out all the information here because if you actually don't provide much information in, into your profile, sometimes they might think that your profile is kind of boring. So adding inf more information to your account actually adds more color into your profile. So it gets it gets you more uh, matches if, you're, uh, if you know that. So, yeah. In this case, we also have the job title here, which is something really important because people actually consider the job of the person that they, ha they are going to meet with. So including your job here might be uh, something that you could do, but if you don't want to add that, you could go ahead and not add it. Also the company, or if you're uh, still in school, or if you're in school, you go ahead and choose and add it in here. 
Now, also, we have living show Instagram photos here. If you want to connect your Instagram account here to make to verify that your account or you know, basically your account is actually a real and that you're a real person here. And yeah, so you also have the gender here and a lot of other information here. Like if you want to hide some information about yourself, you could go ahead and click on don't show my age and don't show your your distance here. Now, in this case, let's just go back into our profile here. So also, they actually offer a Tinder Plus, Tinder Platinum, and Tinder Gold. So if you click on it, you should be able to see the following perks on it. Like for example, unlimited likes, see who likes you, unlimited rewinds, and uh, one free boost per month, and five super likes per week, and passport, topics, and a lot more. Now, depending on what plan you get here, you should be able to uh, basically uh, see some features or additional features into your account. But if you want to use it for free, uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you click on the gear icon at the top right here, you should be able to see your full account settings, recovery settings, global, maximum distance. So setting your maximum distance here actually uh, gives you a way to gauge uh, people who's actually around the area. So it makes it a lot easier for you to meet uh, them in person. So if you increase this one, it would actually uh, give you suggestions in an 82 mile radius here. So if you make it uh, a lot less here, it's going to give you uh, more uh, more people that is actually within the vicinity or a lot near to you. Now in this case, if you want to get more matches here, I would suggest you increase this one. At least 60 or 50 here would be actually really, really great. Great. Now, also, you have the interested in, so make sure that you actually pref uh, enter it here because uh, depending on what you enter here, it's going to show you uh, so much. As like, for example, if you're interested in women, you just choose women here and the uh, options or the people or the profile of people that you'll be seeing in your account are more on women. So you won't see any men into your profile. Now, also the age range here that you're looking for. So if you have 18 to 36 or if you're uh, into older people you could go ahead and just change that age as well so yeah so also you have the option here to control who you see but this is only for a tinder plus which is uh kind of sad because if you want to use it, it might not be available to you so in this case we also have the control my visibility here enable discovery control who messages you so uh since uh y if you want to use the control who messages you you first have to uh, verify yourself first so very uh, for the very uh, verified chat so uh, again if your account is hurting you you they might actually prompt you to verify yourself so just follow the steps for you to verify yourself also if you want to use send read receipts so meaning uh, they will be you will be able to uh, see if they actually saw your image uh your messages so they will also be able to see what uh, if the, the, the actually if you saw their images here. So choose what you see in this section here. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of things and settings here that you could change. But using it is actually pretty easy. Like for example, at the bottom section here, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to see your, your messages. Now in here, we also have the likes that you have right now. So new matches. So in this case, you also have the uh, discovery here. See who likes you. You can go ahead and do that. Also have the uh, se section here for to explore. So let's be friends, coffee date, and a lot more. But if you click on the section here for uh, uh, the section for the Tinder icon here, you'll be able to see different matches. Like for example, if you like this person here, you can go ahead and do that. So if you like it, you can swipe to right. If you don't, don't like that person, you could go ahead and basically uh do as much as you can here left is going to be you don't like them now in this case if you find a match here this is what you will be able to see on your screen so you could go ahead and just say something nice to them and send them a message if you want to do that you could go ahead and exit that if you don't like them you could go ahead and uh, go to the left section here so yeah so in this case you could go ahead and do that so as you can see when we go back into the messages here you should be able to see the matches that you have right now send the messages if you want to and uh, yeah, so using a Tinder here is actually pretty easy. Uh, it's more about uh, making sure that your profile is actually properly set up. As you can see, I only have 25% complete of my profile here. So it might take you a whole day to fill out all the necessary details here. But yeah, how to message on Tinder. Now in this case, you might be wondering, how do you message someone on Tinder? 
So in this case, messaging someone is actually pretty easy, but there are going to be some requirements for you to start messaging people within Tinder. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up the Tinder mobile app here. And currently I'm in my profile. Now in this case, at the bottom of your screen, you should be able to see five icons. So that includes the profile icon, the fire icon, the search icon, and the diamond icon here. But you also have the message icon there. So in this case, go ahead and click on the message icon. Now, in this case, in the message icon, you should be able to see a section that says new matches at the very top. Now, in this case, if someone actually likes you on Tinder, they will appear in this section here. Now, for you to start messaging people, you'll just need to click on their name for you to basically start messaging them. In this case, you could go ahead and just click on the user or the match that you receive and you should be able to see the section here, which in this case, you should be able to start typing uh, whatever you want to say to that specific user. Now, in this case, you could enable get read receipts here if you want to, and you can even send a uh, conversation starter here as well. Now, you also have the section here for messages, but in this case, you will need to have the Tinder Gold app uh, section or the subscription here for you to basically view some messages from the people that actually likes you. So in this case, sometimes people will, people would actually appear here, they will, their name will appear here, and it's going to say that, that person actually likes you. Now, in this case, yeah, so that's about it. So that's how you message people on Tinder. They need to be, uh, or you need to be matched with them first before you, you'll be able to message them or they actually really, really, really like you via this section here. How to fix Tinder not working. In this case, how do we fix this problem? Well, in this case, there are multiple ways to actually probably fix this issue. Now, one of those ways is to make sure that you have a stable internet connection. Now, not having a stable internet connection can actually affect your Tinder account or the login process for Tinder. In this case, you could go ahead and go to any browser here and just search for uh, uh, speed test and from then on, see if you actually have a stable internet connection. In this case, let's just type in speed test, press and enter, and from here, you just click on run speed test. In this case, if your internet uh, connection is pretty fast, then you're good. Now, if your internet connection is fairly slow, then you might need to consider switching to a different connection. Like for example, if you're using your Wi-Fi, consider using your mobile data, or if you're using your mobile data, switch to a Wi-Fi connection. Now, another thing that you could do here is to make sure that you have the latest version of the Tinder mobile app. In this case, you could go ahead and open up Google Play Store here and search for Tinder. In this case, let's go ahead and go open up Google Play Store, search for Tinder, and from here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the latest version. So if you see the update button, go ahead and click on it, and from then on, see if that solves the issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the final thing that we could do here is to clear our cache. Now, in this case, cache are temporary files that are in our applications, which in this case, Tinder also has those. In this case, press and hold on Tinder, go to App Info, and from here, what we need to do, we need to click on the clear data at the bottom right. And from here, click on clear cache. And from here on, click on OK. Once we've done that, go ahead and open up Tinder and see if that solves the issue. How to cancel a subscription on Tinder. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you cancel your Tinder subscription? Well, typically when you access Tinder here and go to your profile and go to your settings, you'll notice that the option to cancel your subscription will not be available here. Because... Our subscription is actually managed by our Google account if you're using Android. Now in this case, to, for you to cancel your subscription, you need to exit the app itself and you need to go to Google Play Store. So in this case, let's go ahead and look for Google Play Store here. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the main menu. Now what we need to do is we need to access our profile icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to payments and subscriptions. Now, under this section here, what we need to do is we need to go to subscriptions and in this section, you should be able to see a section for Tinder. Now, in this case, if you do see Tinder here, you could go ahead and click on the unsubscribe or remove subscription in this section here. Now, in this case, once you click on unsubscribe, you should be able to cancel your subscription on Tinder. How to delete your Tinder account permanently. In this case, how do you actually delete your Tinder account permanently? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to open up the Tinder mobile app. Now from here, we need to access our profile. So go ahead and click on the profile uh, icon at the bottom right of your screen. 
And from here, what we need to do is we need to access our settings, which is at the top right off your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the very, very, very bottom until you see the button that says delete account at the very bottom. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now it's going to say, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to pause your account, which in this case, if you pause your account, you should be able to recover them once you re-log in to your account. But if you really want to delete your account, just use the delete my account option at the very bottom. Now it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete your account? So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and choose the reason why you want to delete your account. So in this case, go ahead and choose whatever here. So in this case, maybe I want to say I need a break from the following. And from here, you have, again, it's going to ask you if you really want to delete your account. So if you're sure, just click on the delete my account option here. And from then on, that should delete your account. How to fix Tinder can't delete account. In this case, how do we actually uh, delete our Tinder account here? Well, in this case, sometimes you'll encounter problems with your Tinder account. So there's a few things for you to probably solve this issue, which in this case, you can't delete your Tinder account. So first things first is you need to ensure that you're using the latest version of the app itself. In this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here. Go to the search bar and just type in Tinder. And from here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are using the latest version. Now, if you see an update button there, go ahead and click on the update button. Now, from there on, once the update is complete, go ahead and see if you can basically uh, cancel or delete your account. Now, in some cases, especially if you're using a uh, subscription plan on Tinder, then you need to first cancel those subscription. Now, in this case, go ahead and exit your Google Play Store here. Go ahead and click on your profile at the top right of your screen. And from here, go ahead and go to the section that says payments and subscription. Now, from here, go to subscriptions. And under subscription, if you see any subscriptions active on Tinder, go ahead and cancel that or just click on the unsubscribe button. And from then on, that would unsubscribe your plan or cancel your plan in Tinder. Now, once your plan is canceled, you could go ahead and try again if that solves your issue. Now, finally, the last thing that you could do here is to basically clear your cache. In this case, for you to do that, go ahead and press and hold in Tinder. Go to App Info. And from here, go to the section that says Clear Data at the bottom right. Now, from here, click on Clear Cache. Click on OK. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and open up Tinder and see if that solves the issue. Now, in this case, for you to access your uh, deletion or account deletion here, Go ahead and click on the Tinder app. Go ahead, go ahead and go to your profile at the bottom right of the screen. Go ahead and click on the settings icon at the top right. Go to the very bottom and click on the option that says delete account. Now from here, you just need to click on delete my account. And from here, go ahead and answer whatever you want to say. So for example, I want to say I need a break. Now if you're really sure, just click on delete my account here and that should delete your account. How to make a new Tinder account after being banned. So, Tinder stands out as one of the most renowned dating applications available today, facilitating connections between individuals seeking life partners. Uh, its distinguished features include the left swipe to indicate the in disinterest and the right swipe to express interest. However, engaging in illicit activities on the platform can lead to permanent account bans. So, if you find yourself banned from Tinder, you might be wondering how to regain access. So, in this case, we'll be discussing that. Now, Tinder bans are device specific. Creating a new account with the same device will not circumvent or basically uh, go around the ban itself. Therefore, acquiring a new device and a phone number is necessary to establish a fresh account. Alternatively, users can appeal to Tinder's support team for account reinstatement. Uh, reinstatement. Each ban is reviewed individually and multiple reports from users can result in permanent expulsions. Now, in this case, how do you make a appeal? In this case, go ahead and exit your application here. Go ahead and open up any browser. And from here, what you need to do is you just need to look for the following, which is going to be Tinder Appeal. Now, once you've done that, it should give you the following option. So go ahead and click on the Appeal A Violation here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to scroll down a bit until we see the section that says Appeal Center. In this case, it's going to be highlighted here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's going to redirect you into Tinder and you just need to log in. Now, once logged in, you should be able to see a violation that you receive. And from then on, you should be able to send an appeal. Now, it's actually a free, uh, pretty straightforward process here. Just log in, look for the, uh, the violation that you got. And from then on, write your appeal and submit it. Now, 
Regrettably, there's no temporary ban mechanism on Tinder, and violating the terms and conditions typically results in permanent expulsion. If banned, users lose access to their account and cannot reuse any associated details for a new account. The only recourse is to submit an appeal through Tinder's help page like what I've shown you. So the timeline for account reactivation varies, so with response uh, typically taking two to four days. However, there's no guarantee of reinstatement. Now, creating a new Tinder account post ban entails using entirely new device, phone number, and email address, as reusing previously associated information will trigger another ban. Now, in summary, while well, banned users can attempt to regain access to their pool creating a new account, success isn't guaranteed, and adhere to Tinder's terms and conditions is paramount or really important to avoid your ban. And that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.